Greetings from ABC Acres. I'm Grant Shadden, and I'm here in our greenhouse to talk about starting thornless honey locust trees from seed. Uh, we love thornless honey locust trees here for their many benefits. We're gonna be planting them all throughout our fields to give us a boost in fertility in our pastures, to allow our livestock to browse on them and to eat the fallen seed pods. And there's a lot of protein in these seed pods. Now, we don't currently have any mature trees on our property, so what we did was wildcrafted them. Wildcrafting simply meaning going out and, and hunting and foraging around to find them. Yeah, just like the locals here in the Bitterroot Valley of Western Montana go up in the mountains and they wildcraft huckleberries up in the hills. And in the same way, we wildcrafted these, albeit in the local Kmart parking lot. So our wild crafting was not so wild. But all the same, for free, we got these seeds to a fantastic agricultural tree that can be used to really boost the productivity in a permaculture system. So I'm gonna show you how to pre-treat these seeds in order to get a good germination rate so that if you're lucky enough to have these trees in your local Kmart parking lot, you can go get your own, get them started, and then plant them out to get great productivity and increase diversity and abundance on your property. So we're gonna to go to the kitchen actually to see the next step. Well, we're here in our commercial kitchen at ABC Acres and we're ready to take our thornless honey locust seeds and to put them in our water. Now, we've gotten our water up to boiling and then you need to allow it to cool down for a couple minutes until it hits about 190 degrees Fahrenheit and then we add our seeds to that and we'll let them soak while the water cools down to room temperature. So one thing to keep in mind when you're adding your seeds is you wanna have about three times as much volume of water as you do seeds to allow these seeds to expand. This hot water is going to expand the seeds, cracking that hard seed coat, and that's what's gonna allow for a much higher germination rate of our thornless honey locust trees. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the water now because we are right at 190. All right, we'll let that sit and we'll come back and take a look and then we'll go ahead and get them planted. All right, well we're back in the greenhouse getting ready to take our soaked seeds that were treated by the just below boiling temperatured water and now that they've had a couple hours to expand and, and soak up some of that water and break that hard seed coat, they're ready for planting. So to give you an idea of how much they expand, in my hand here I have a seed that hasn't been soaked yet, and then obviously the much larger seed that has. So that's what we're looking for, that expansion to get that seed coat broken so that this seed can really germinate and can turn into a nice young seedling for us right here. So I'm gonna take our uh, pot of water that had all the seeds in it. And as I mentioned before, this was about, oh, two hours of soaking. You wait until it gets down to room temperature from that 190 degrees that you introduce the seeds into. And so we have our drained out seeds and then I've already got my potting soil compost mix here and I'm just opening up this soil with my really high tech tool here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then I'm gonna take my seeds and I like to plant at least a couple seeds in each pot just to give me that extra insurance that I'm gonna get germination and get something to grow. The seeds were free and even if you're purchasing the seeds, it's worth it. It's worth taking those seeds and making sure you're gonna get something out of it. So typically, you want to plant a seed about three times its thickness in depth. So this is gonna be, oh, planted about a quarter inch to half inch deep. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay these down in there, nice and flat, and then just cover them back up 
nice and light. And this is pre-moistened soil. And I can do a couple more of these while I talk again about the benefits of these thornless honey locust trees. Like I said before, they're great for livestock feed. The seeds and the pods are really high in protein. There's some dispute on how much nitrogen they fix, but there are farmers that say they see a boost in production and fertility around those trees. And if you're using these in an orchard or a garden type setting, these nice, uh, what they call pinnate leaves, they take a while to open up in the spring. So the sun is able to warm that soil up and get things growing around and underneath where the tree's canopy is. And then these leaves come in and they let through dappled shade. So they actually create a really great environment for things to grow where that really hot summer sun can't just beat down on things, uh, but it still lets enough light through to be able to have uh, good production. And people uh, that have had these trees out in say barley fields, for instance, they haven't seen a reduction at all in productivity of the barley underneath their, their trees. So even though it's being shaded some, it's letting enough light in. And then the thought as well is that that nitrogen, once again in dispute, but <clears throat> recent findings are showing it does fix nitrogen, is helping to boost fertility. So you're actually getting not only barley out of that square footage for, for this example, but you're also getting all the protein, all the production in hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of seed pods on one of these mature trees. So a lot of great benefits to introducing these to a permaculture system or regenerative agriculture type system. So I'm gonna keep planting these seeds out because once you've drained them out, you don't wanna let these seeds dry out too much. Otherwise, you're really gonna lose uh, germination rate and their viability. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below this video. And as always, thanks for watching.